Doug and PA back with another video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button on the way in. I really appreciate it. It shows that you support me and the content on this channel. So if you're new to my channel, uh, what first got me a bunch of subscribers, my most popular subject was Deion Sanders leaving Jackson State University for the University of Colorado. Now we support Coach Prime over here. He did everything he possibly could in his three years at Jackson State. And then he moved on to bigger, better things. And he doesn't owe HBCUs or the black community anything. In fact, I would argue where Deion Sanders goes, if he wins, we all win. It's as simple as that. Once again, we support Coach Prime over here. I haven't done a Deion Sanders video in a while, so I thought that I'd do an update. Deion Sanders was on the Rich Eisen show, and he said that he prefers quarterbacks from two parent households. And of course, this set the whole internet on fire. All these people were saying, How dare Deion Sanders make the insinuation or the claim that single mothers raise less quality men or less quality football players? So I found the interview. We're going to listen to what exactly he said, and then I have an article that goes over all, everything the negative view that people have of the comments. So let's get into the interview and let's see exactly what he said. Who that is just by talking to him now that you're walking in the living rooms and you're seeing more and more well, and more. We I have mean, different can... attributes, smart, tough, fast, discipline with character. Yep. We're looking at now, now quarterbacks are different. Yeah. We want mother, father, you know, dual parent. Mm -hmm. There it is right there. And then let's see what else he has to say. So dual parent. We want that kid to be three, five and up because he's got to be smart. Mm -hmm. um, not bad decisions off the field uh, at all mm -hmm. because he has to be a leader of men. It's so many different attributes and what we look for when we see a quarterback. And you would love a coach's son somewhere that the coach has coached him. And I'm not going down my road. I see you smiling because I, right, I know I, I know. OK, so that was the comment. And he goes on later to say that. He likes linebackers that are from single mother homes because they're complete savages on the field and, you know, they can get really angry and and they do the job of a linebacker really, really well. So put in the comments what you think about what he just said, because I don't see a problem with it. You know, I came from a two parent household. My father was a physician. He was a strong, masculine man. He showed my brother and I how to be men, we became successful. And then um, I I live in the DMV area and there's a lot of boys. I meet a lot of guys, especially younger guys who don't, who did, who came from single mother homes. And I can just tell just by talking to them that they were raised by a single mom. No shade, but when you grew up with a strong father and you talk to men who haven't, who didn't, you can tell the difference. So let's go over to this article here. It says, it's from USA Today. It says, Deion Sanders' belief about single parent families is absurd and hypocritical. And it, it's by Mike Freeman, of course, a black dude, telling you this craziness is held up by simps that support all this foolishness. Female empowerment, feminism, female foolishness cannot exist without simps holding the whole thing up and backing it all up. Anyway, so let's see what this Mike Freeman guy has to say. He says, I want to take you into the future, and Tom Brady's son is a star high school quarterback. He leads the country in passing yards and touchdowns. Recruiters from around the nation are camping at Brady's house. He's the best prospect in the history of high school football. Brady's son decides he wants to check out Deion Sanders in the University of Colorado or whatever school Sanders is in at the future because he likes Sanders. And Brady has told some good stories over the years. Sanders and young Brady hit it off and looks like Brady has found his college home. However, there's a problem. Brady doesn't meet one of Sanders' criteria for playing quarterback at Colorado. So Brady picks the University of Michigan instead. So this is a complete hypothetical. What's the criterion? What's the remarkably dumb, non-scientific, and insulting criteria set that caused young Brady to pick his old man's school, the lack of a dual parent household. In a recent interview with the Rich Eisen Show, Sanders was asked what attributes he looks for in his players. Well, we have different attributes. Well, you heard this part, but I'm going to read it. Well, we have different attributes. Smart, tough, fast, and disciplined with character. 
Now quarterbacks are different, Sanders said. We want mother, father, dual parent. We want that kid to be 3.5 and up because he has to be smart, not bad decisions off the field at all, because he has to be a leader of men. Since Brady is divorced, his son wouldn't meet Sanders' archaic 1950s era mandate. A divorced household isn't a two-parent one. Okay. Guys, most of the time, people against what Deion Sanders is saying, it's all emotional. We know the stats about boys that come from single mother households. And almost every negative statistic, you know, more likely to run away from home, more likely to go to, go to jail, etc. It increases when you come from a single mother household. There's literally a single mother to prison pipeline in the United States. And he's saying it's a 1950s archaic idea, this guy. He says, while what Sanders said appeals to the right-wing crowd, no, because of the, there's plenty of black men like myself. You know, I'm more of an independent. In fact, I that believe this, and I think a lot of people believe this, but it's you have to be PC nowadays. You have to support single motherhood and foolishness so that they just don't say anything. I'm unaware of any study that shows one-parent household kids are at a disadvantage when it comes to playing college quarterback. You see what he did there? He said household kids are at a disadvantage when it comes to playing college quarterback. But we do see studies that show that they're at a disadvantage in almost every other conceivable part of life. So he tried to pull the okey-doke right there. If you know one, please shoot me a note. And also, what if a parent died when a kid was young? What if a parent left before the kid even knew the father or mother? There's a certain sense of, well, grossness about setting this type of artificial social construct. How is having two parents an artificial social construct? This is where we are. Guys, the nuclear family is the best way to raise children, and the West is one of the only places that has lost sight of that. Now, I understand things happen, but still, even even getting a step parent, but a marriage, mother, father, and kids in the home is the best way to go about raising children. There's no debate in that, none. It says there's also a level of tactical stupidity here. By taking this stance, Sanders is potentially alienating a large swath of candidates from coast to coast of all economic backgrounds. One survey found that in 2002, there were about 16 million children living with a single mother. And over 3 million children living with a single dad. 16 million kids living with a single mother. That is crazy. That's a lot of potential quarterbacks Sanders could be passing up. Look, it's I'm going to sum this up by saying it's his team, his coaches, his program. And he can recruit players however he wants. He already showed at Jackson State in Jackson, Mississippi, that, that he can make things happen. And they're giving him university... Colorado is giving him a lot of way to a lot of leeway and a lot of resources to get the job done. He understands the task ahead of him, so he's going to run it his way. And if I had to perform, if I had the expectations that University of Colorado is putting on me like they're putting on Deion Sanders, I'd be looking for as many football players from two parent households as I could, but that's just me. Like, subscribe, Comment and tell me what you think about this, and I will catch you on the next one.